सॉल्व एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो दे टोल्ड यू टू सॉल्व दैट मीन्स यू नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स ओके नाउ हाउ डू वी सॉल्व इट सी रिमेंबर इवन इन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ऑल्सो वी यूज टू चेंज द एक्स टर्म हियर ऑल्सो वी शुड चेंज द एक्स टर्म ओनली हियर द एक्स टर्म इज प्लस थ्री एक्स How do I change it? Is C. Now, instead of plus three x, I will be writing plus two x plus one x minus two equal to zero. Okay. Next, take x common from these three. So x outside here I get x square and here minus three x plus two. Here no change. Okay, next. How do we simplify further more? Did you see quadratic equation? This one. So we should factorize it now. And how do we factorize? Again, change the x term. This time, in place of minus three x, I will write minus two x minus one x plus two. Plus x minus two equal to zero. Next, from these two take x common. So what do I get? X minus two. Here also I should get x minus two. From this x is gone inside means outside should be minus one. In case doubt, you can multiply and see. You will get the same result. Plus. X minus two equal to zero. Next, take x minus two common. So here I am left with x and minus one plus x minus two equal to zero. Next, what will you take common from this entire thing? Is x minus two. So what do you get? So here left with these two things, that is x, x minus one, and here it's gone outside means leaving you one. So one equal to zero. So now x minus two multiply. So x square minus x plus one equal to zero. Next I write this here. See. X minus two x square minus x plus one equal to zero. Okay. Next, what we should do? Again, there is a quadratic, so factorize it. Means changing the middle term. But understand here. This I will not be able to factorize it. The reason, if you reason is b square minus 4ac is less than zero, or else we get imaginary values for x. Any which way, we are unable to fact. We cannot factorize it. Even if we apply the formula, we will get complex roots or imaginary roots. So what I am saying is. This we get imaginary root, so leave that. So equate only this to zero. Add plus two on both sides. So this cancel out x equal to two. So we get only one real value of x that is two satisfying the equation. Okay.